Hi, Maria Watkins here from the Music Business Made Easy. Today's music business tip is a continuation from music reports and your royalties by looking at your royalties that come from the Harry Fox Agency. Although Harry Fox has a number of subsidiaries, one of the main things is that they are dedicated to providing licenses and to collect and distribute mechanical royalties. As with music reports, I want to focus in again on those interactive streaming royalties that come from the Harry Fox Agency. These are the mechanical royalties that come from interactive streaming of the underlying copyright. Not the interactive streaming for the sound recording, but for the song itself. My focus is on the interactive streaming royalties. Harry Fox does collect all of the mechanical royalties, whether for downloads or for sales. So if your music is being streamed on Apple Music or Spotify, Spotify and Apple Music pays those interactive streaming royalties to Harry Fox. I would advise you to set up an account with Harry Fox and register all of your songs with them. If you are able to affiliate as a music publisher, you should do so. Sign up so you can collect those interactive streaming royalties. Now, if you're not able to register directly with them as a publisher, I still would register my songs with them to make sure all of your information is correct in that database. So then how would you be able to collect those royalties? You would have to use a third party service such as Audium, SongTrust, CD Baby Pro, TuneCore Publishing, or Music Publishing Administrator. One of the less favorable terms of having to do that, not only will they deduct a percentage of that particular royalty stream, they also will deduct a percentage from your performing rights royalties that come from ASCAP, BMI, or CSAC. The more that you're able to eliminate or minimize deductions, the more money that you can have in your own pocket. Harry Fox does take a small percentage, but only as a processing fee. Take some time to visit the Harry Fox Agency's website. Familiarize yourself with it and all the services that they have to offer. The more you know, the more you can prosper. I hope this tip was helpful to you today. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and give me a thumbs up. If you have any questions or feedback, leave them in the comments below. Quick reminder, I have a free checklist that you can pick up, 22 Things to Do Before You Release Your Music. You can get that at the musicbusinessmadeeasy.com website. I have a premium course at courses.musicbusinessmadeeasy.com that will teach you how to document, protect, and register your music at the Library of Congress. Thanks for your time. Have a great day.